Hi everyone, I'm Rinzi and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot and I am back with a Ready, Set, Hold. If you haven't seen these before, basically what I do is I highlight around five books that are coming out in a couple of months from now so that way you guys can put them on hold at your library now and be at the top of the hold list rather than the bottom of the hold list. Um, a lot of libraries start cataloging their books pretty early, like a couple of months in advance, so there's a very good chance that all of these books are already in your library's catalog, so you can already put them on hold, and then you don't have to wait, you know, forever to be able to read the new releases that are coming out. So usually I highlight five. Today I'm going to highlight six books that are coming out in August just because I couldn't decide one of these to cut. I'm really excited for all of these, and I think that you guys will be as well, or there'll be at least one here that uh, you'll be excited about that's coming out. So the first book that I want to highlight comes out on August 1st and that is Solo by Kwame Alexander and Mary Rand Hess. Kwame Alexander is probably best known for his books on verse. Uh, they're young adult books written in verse and they tend to be about like various sports. So there's Crossover which is about like this young teenage boy who plays basketball, uh, booked I believe it has to deal with soccer, um, and I believe he has a couple others out as well. This is another young adult book that's also written in verse, which has me very excited, and this one is following a musician. Personally, I love books written in verse, and specifically young adult books written in verse are like especially my jam, so I'm really excited to read this one. And if you've read any of Kwame Alexander's other books, you know that he does books and verse so, so well, so I imagine that this one will be just as great as well. Next on August 15th, we have The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin. This is the third book in the Broken Earth series. The first book was the fifth season and the second book was the Obelisk, Obelisk State. <laughs> I had a really hard time saying that one. But yeah, this is the final book. I believe it's a trilogy, so I think this is the last book that needs to come out. So if you've read the fifth season, or if you've been waiting to read the fifth season because you want to wait for the series to be completely done, the third book is coming out. So you can put it on hold and read the other two and then be ready for the third one when it comes out in August. Next we have The Heart's Invisible Fury. This one is by John Boyne, and he is best well known for uh, writing the book The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. He has a new book coming out that is also historical fiction. It takes place in Ireland from about the 1940s on, I believe, to present day. And I believe that you are following this one man uh, who was born out of wedlock in Dublin, sort of across his life in sort of a post- War Ireland. So if you were a fan of The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, this one might be worth picking up. It comes out on August 22nd. Also coming out on August 22nd is Young Jane Young by Gabrielle Zevin. Uh, Gabrielle Zevin's latest book, The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery, was really well received by a lot of people, myself included. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but Gabrielle Zevin tends to write like sort of across the board. Like every book that she writes is very different from all the others. So I can't say like necessarily that if you love The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery, you're going to enjoy this one as well. But but it sounds really interesting, at least to me personally. So I believe that you're following this young woman who starts off working as like an intern at a congressional office. She ends up having an affair with the congressman that she works for and it becomes this whole big thing. So to get away from all of that, she ends up moving to like a small town in Maine and trying to uh, raise her daughter. And then while she's there, I believe that she also decides to run for office herself and then all of the stuff from her past sort of comes to light again. And so it's about you know, being a woman in the world today in the way that the world judges you, as well as just trying to figure out your own life and trying to raise a young woman in today's world. Yeah, it just sounds really, really interesting. It sounds completely different, again, like I said, from the storied life of A.J. Fickery, but I really like the way that Gabrielle Zevin writes and it has the potential for being you know, more than sort of like a fluffy chiclet type book, which is the way the cover makes it look. But also the storied life of A.J. Fickery brought a lot more to the table than you would have expected otherwise. On August 29th, we have a new book from Louise Penny that's coming out. It's called Glass Houses. This is part of the Chief Inspector Gamache series. I believe that's how you say his name. I could be wrong on that. Yeah, Louise Penny is one of those mystery writers who's just a name in the industry and her books always have long hold lists on them. I know this from experience. So if you are someone who has read Louise Penny in the past, then this is one to put on hold now so that way you can pick it up. And the final book that I have to highlight today also comes out on August 29th, and it is Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. After sort of all of the Wonder Woman attention that's been happening because of the new movie, I feel like that this is going to be a book that's going to be in very high demand. So in this one, you are following Diana, who is basically trying her best to stand out from the the rest of her family um, and she ends up saving someone who may not have the like best intentions for the world. She's part of the Warbringer 
family and things sort of go down from there. I'm not going to get too much into it because, you know, there's the whole like Wonder Woman mythology that's going on here. So I think that if you are someone who really enjoyed the Wonder Woman movie and are looking for more stuff and, you know, maybe you've already read all the comics or maybe you prefer novels over comic books, then this would be perfect for you to pick up. So yeah, those are all the books that I want to highlight for you guys. Um, definitely leave a comment down below letting me know if you plan on picking up any of these books or if there are other books coming out in the month of August that you're really excited about. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.